Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I'm Darshan Husseina Usman. The news in brief. At least 201 kidnapped victims have been rescued in the last two weeks in various military operations in Borno and Kaduna states. The Director, Defense Media Operations, Major General Musa Amadami, made the disclosure during the bi-weekly briefing at the Defense Headquarters on Thursday. The 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. statewide curfew imposed by the Zamfara state government has been reviewed to 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. effective Thursday, 23rd March 2023. A statement by the Commissioner for Information, Ibrahim Dosara, said this following the commencement of Ramadan fasting. The World Health Organization on Thursday said that the death toll from the Marburg virus epidemic in Equatorial Guinea has risen to 20, with Malabo reporting six more deaths in 10 days. The cases of the hemorrhagic fever, which is almost as deadly as Ebola, has spread from the province of Kientem, where it caused the first known deaths on January 7th to Bata, the economic capital of the small Central African country, which is partly an island and partly a continent. And finally, head coach of Nigeria's Super Eagles, Jose Pacero, has insisted that his team won't beat Guinea-Bissau if they don't give their maximum. Pacero's men will on Friday evening face Guinea-Bissau in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying fixture at the MK Abiola Stadium in Abuja. And that's it on Trust News Summary. Don't forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. I'm Darshan Husseina Usman. Thanks for watching.